Today is the first H1N1 vaccine clinic, and we're giving 200 doses to students. To get this vaccine, I walked up to the box office at about 8.45 in the morning, sat in the line for about 10 minutes, picked up a ticket, walked right in. It's a nasal mist. It's like, um, it feels like nose spray. It's measured so that you give half the dose, remove the clip, and then give the other half the dose in the other nostril. We wanted to make sure that we could get as many students as possible immunized before they go home for Thanksgiving. I'm going back to New York City. That's a lot of people there, and I don't know um, how the condition is there, really, generally. So I'm more definitely more relieved. So I basically took the vaccine to prepare for that. I understand that there's a national shortage. Uh, I'm a little concerned as to why it's taking so long here though because I live back in Albany and my parents said that they're already having clinics uh, downtown for uh, basically citywide for everyone. I kind of think it did take uh, too long because I already heard like uh, about 200 cases around Syracuse that had it and things like that and I mean if we had a vaccine in the first place I, I don't even think like the cases should have been like over the hundreds. The university has put out an informational campaign um, called Fighting the Flu, in which Otto tells people how to stay healthy this season, what they can do if they think they're sick, and what to do once they know they're sick. So. What? Are you taking the board check Yes. Are you taking it on Monday? Monday. Oh, yeah. In comparison to other college campuses, I think that we are leading in, uh, in the number of students who are not infected with swine flu. Um, I heard that uh, a few other universities out west had over 3,000 students in their student population infected with swine flu. So I think we're doing a great job with making sure that uh, we're constantly washing our hands and we're constantly disinfecting things. This is just the first of many uh, vaccine clinics we'll be hosting over the course of the flu season. So we have a limited batch for today and we'll keep having these events as often as the shipments, um, shipment sizes allow. The university has plans to provide a, vi a vaccine for every student who wants one.